Hey guys, just want to talk about change a little bit. One thing I was talking to Bobby this morning about, you know, we're going over the business and we're going over a lot of things and we're having this conversation and a lot of things right now that you got to do, a lot of what you have to do right now, period, with this recession going on and all the changes is you have to change before things change for you. So most people are waiting for changes to happen. And what does that mean? They're reacting. Pe things are gonna happen. All of a sudden the government says this, people change. We're gonna have, um, we're gonna have free money for this, people change. COVID happens and then you have to change. So a lot of the times you have, you're forced to have to change. And when there's a correction going on, like right now, a recession, People are forced to change. But what you have to understand is things are not gonna change for you if you don't change. Does that make sense? So you have to change. And what I realized, you know, especially today talking to Bobby is I'm thinking like, wait a minute, like what's going on? Like I'm asking people to change, but I have to change before they change. I gotta lead by example. So I talk about it a lot. So, you know, I realized, forget about the money. I know you guys hear me talking about money a lot. I talk about luxury things. I talk about Ferraris and mansions and flying private, jets, whatever, companies. I talk a lot about a lot of those things. And what I came to realize today, especially after speaking with Bobby is like, what what's next for Albert what's next for Albert for the last eight years it's been a lot about money success glory <clears throat> and how much more success do I want how much more success do I want you know and, and, and of course I want a lot of success of course I love money but today I wanted to speak about everything else like how do I become a better leader, even a better leader than I am today? I'm 39 years old. I'm about to be 40. I'm about to be 40. I'm 39. I'm a father of two beautiful girls. One's five and a half, named after a Ferrari, Italia. And the other one's two and a half, named after a Ferrari, Berlin. And I'm about to become a father of my third, I'm going to have a third child, a third. So... I'm thinking about, I'm so excited about my next life. Like I'm gonna have my 40 through 60. It's a different stage. And I'm very excited about my new life. Like what's next? Like how, how am I gonna give back more? How much can I, how, how many more people can I help? How many more people can I reach? And all that happens with change within me like how can I get better how can I get better how can I improve how can I put up more numbers but not for me but how can I help other people put up put out more numbers and we were going over the all the people that we have in the company me and Bobby this morning we're going over all the people that we have in the company and we realized once again how it's not about one person or two people or three or four or five, how we have a bunch of talented individuals in the company, both ambiance and mortgage guys, TMG, mortgage girls, TMG lending, I must say. And then we talk about the driven events. Now, how many people are, are we helping? How many lives are we changing? So my gift to you guys is, you know, I wanna give you even more value. And all that is gonna start with me improving, me getting better, me changing. And even though I do improve every day, 1%, why not improve 2% every day? Why not? Why not wake up an hour earlier? Why not waste less time? So my challenge to you guys is, my challenge to you guys is, and especially those that are close to me, 
but this is to, for everybody. But my challenge to you guys is, who's in this with me? Who's gonna be in with me? For the next 30 days, I'm gonna be extremely focused. I'm gonna wake up an hour earlier. I'm gonna drink zero alcohol. I'm not gonna drink any alcohol for the next 30 days. And you guys know, what is it that I love doing the most? What do I love doing the most? What I love doing the most is having some drinks. You guys know how much I have. I, I, I love margaritas. I love champagne. You guys know how much I like that. So I decided to, why not? Just do it. You know, the next 30 days, I have a lot of events coming up. We have a grand opening in Rancho. We have Driven Mastermind, my birthday bash. We have a lot of things going on. A lot of things going on. We have top performers going on. So back to back to back events. So I wanted to make it challenging for me because, you know, I know I could do it. So I'm taking away one of my greatest uh, pleasures in life and more so is because I want to become better by 2% every day, not 1%. And I want to be more sharp. I want to be more focused. <clears throat> I want to do it for my daughters, for my wife, and for everybody that's a member of our, our, of our company because when I ask people for change, I also have to be willing to make a change. And I'm willing to change anything. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna have two workouts a day. And I'm gonna be more focused than ever because I know that the times that we're going through right now, I have to be better. It all starts with me. So those of you that wanna join me in this challenge, not asking a lot, wake up an hour earlier, no alcohol, no drugs, you know, no drugs, some of you like smoking weed. If you give up alcohol, but then you replace it with weed, then what's the point? Like, who are you, who are you kidding? Who are you, who are you fooling? Like, if I'm gonna give up, give up alcohol, I'm not gonna replace it with weed. If I'm gonna give up weed, I'm not gonna replace it with alcohol. You gotta challenge yourselves. Two workouts a day, easy. Waking up an hour earlier, easy. Working one hour more a day, easy. So, having said that, I know these times are changing. I know these times are, are all very hard for a lot of people. And forget about money. I talk about money a lot. If you guys want to be all in with this, you guys want to join me, 30 days of extreme focus, then let me know. Let me know. I came to a realization today, speaking with Bobby, and if I want people to change as a leader, if I'm promoting change, then change starts with me. Much love, and let's all make a change. Let's all get better, and let's all be extremely focused for the next 30 days. Look, one month into the second half of the, se of the year, is over. July is over. We're entering August. We have five more months to switch, to completely turn around this year. If this year hasn't been the best for you, you have one, we have five more months because one month already went away. You're already behind, but you still have five months. That's a bright news. The good news is that, the great news is that you have five more months to completely change the outcome of 2022 in your lives much love keep it up and if this is you and if you're all in with me let me know comment at the bottom all in all in you're all in with albert next 30 day challenge because these next 30 days can really make a difference in how your outcome for 2022 ends up much love